Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Matt Nelson, and we have a great one for you today. We're back on the West Coast to revisit Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California. As you'll see, work on the site continues, but as has been the case on all previous visits, progress on the racetrack is at a complete standstill. Not only that, the area around the facility is filling in to the point where just seeing the once iconic grandstand is becoming difficult. As I drove down Cherry Avenue, I almost missed the speedway. The remaining racetrack area is nearly obscured from view at street level. There continues to be work going on all over the property, but most of the work since our last visit has been focused on the completion of what I'm calling Building 1 and Building 2. Building 1 is the biggest of the facility so far, located on the southeast corner of the lot. It's an enormous building consisting of approximately 100 loading dock doors on each side. I've seen airport terminals that aren't this big. I'm beginning to have an issue reconciling the placement of the new track within the space allocated. As you can see, there's approximately 300 feet between the wall of Building 1 and the track property line. At this point, I'm not sure how they're going to get the new turns 1 and 2 into the space available as it's currently configured. From where I sit, it appears that pit row will need to be shortened and the garage closest to the new construction will need to be removed. Please leave us a comment and let us know whether you think the space allocated is sufficient to fit the new track design or if they need to tear down some of the garage buildings that remain. Subscribe to the channel and share this video. Your subscription will help us stay on the road and in the air. This visit was deep into the California summer and this day brought all the heat of the Inland Empire. It was one of the hottest days I've ever flown anywhere with very little wind, but it did not slow down the crew in the least. Not only are these craftsmen doing amazing work in the transformation of this site, they are doing it in extraordinarily difficult conditions. The temperature on this day was well north of 100 degrees, and the team carried on doing what they do best. I still get an enormous amount of flying to the site to document the progress of this project. Although we continue to see the loss of a once great speedway, some of these images I'm able to capture are simply stunning. I feel very fortunate to have this opportunity, and I'm very thankful to the crew who accommodate my occasional drop-ins to document this historic work. So I'm watching this dig on the west end of Building 1, and I notice an underground structure. My first thought, maybe that's where they'll put the tunnel into the track. Unfortunately, it looks like an electrical fault, but it did catch my attention. From this view, it seems hard to believe that some modifications to the pit lane and some of the garage facilities won't be necessary to make any track fit into this space and align with the main grandstand. The track rendering shows no movement of the main grandstand, so there might be some adjustments to the area where turns 1 and 2 will eventually occupy. After reading through the comments, I know there are many of you wondering if there's going to be a new track here at all but it seems like there has been an enormous amount of effort to maintain the core racing area, which could have easily been removed. So we have to sit and wait and remain vocal about the fact that we want to see racing back on this site. When I look up the definition of great American workers, a picture of this team should pop up. Ingenuity, determination, and raw power is what it takes to make things fit. If I ever get into a bad situation, I want to have this crew on my side. It's hard to believe, but the Auto Club Speedway demolition project has been going on for almost one year. Absolutely incredible how fast time is passing. Throughout the process of documenting this historic event, you folks have been providing some of the greatest memories, detailed track facts, and some little known history about the Speedway property. I can't thank you enough for your contributions, and I want you to know that I read and enjoy every story. After hearing some of your great stories, I would like to share one of my favorite Auto Club Speedway stories of which I have many. Auto Club Speedway had one of the most iconic trophies in all of NASCAR. The Auto Club trophy was named after NASCAR legend Les Richter, who was instrumental in the creation of the Speedway. This trophy captures everything California, it features a surfboard, palm trees, and a classic 1950s Woody Wagon towing a NASCAR diecast. Denny Hamlin recalls year after year sitting in the driver's meeting, just staring at that trophy and wanting to win the race for nothing more than taking it home. Unfortunately for Denny, that is one trophy he was never able to capture. 
With all the success of Joe Gibbs Racing, for some reason it never fell his way. But I remember listening to him telling that story and knowing with all the success Denny has had, thinking that's one of the crown jewels he never got in his collection. That story made me laugh, and is one I've never forgotten. Glad to see these folks found a way to get out of the sun and enjoy some lunch. Hope we didn't disturb you. Keep up the great work! In addition to the great stories, some of you have also sent along some incredible photos taken at a race or around the speedway. I've collected and cataloged all these images and will be including them in an upcoming video. I was originally planning on sharing these images months ago, but they continue to come in and I don't want to leave any out. I know you will enjoy seeing them as much as I have. There is still time for you to submit images that you would like to share. Send your images to acadapterinc at protonmail.com. Make sure you include a username or a name that you would like appended to the photo. I want to ensure you get full credit for these submissions. Trust me, the quality of some of these images we've received are equal to many professional photographers I work with. I have no doubt the community is going to really enjoy your experiences. I'll be at Auto Club once more this summer before I head back to the East Coast to check in on the progress at Rockingham Speedway. Since my last visit to Rockingham, NASCAR announced that The Rock will be hosting the NASCAR Xfinity and Truck Series in 2025. I'm very interested to see if Rockingham will get the North Wilkesboro facelift. Please check out our video from our last visit to Rockingham. I'm sure you will agree, there is still a lot of work to go before it's ready to race in 2025. Every time I look at my calendar and see Auto Club Speedway, I get excited. I never get bored of coming here. I've been drawn to this track almost my entire life. And whatever the future has in store, I will be here to see it. Fontana is a quirky commercial area and I love being here. I hope we'll all be back here again real soon. When we get back to Fontana, I'm sure we'll be watching great racing and sharing memories with our friends and family. Thank you again for following along on this journey. It's extremely important that we continue to track the progress at this site, so please hit the like, subscribe, and bell notifications so you are notified as we continue to document this project. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.